Hello Libra, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading we'll be looking at your next serious relationship partner. My battery is about to die so I have to um, not waste so much time here. Their overall personality, we have Saturn, Uranus, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, the Sun, High Priestess. So we have Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Pisces coming through. It's a very uh, stubborn individual I'm getting maybe because of a difficult upbringing. Their father figure is coming through. I'm not sure if they had a strict upbringing. Their father may have been very disciplined or just there was some challenges growing up. Others of you, this can be a father figure or they may have children that is coming through. This person may have been married, married before are coming out of a long-term commitment. I'm seeing a lot of bitter energy here in their ener bitter energy. I'm seeing a little bit of bitterness here in their energy, which I see in the Oracle cards. I'll get to, but their attitude in regards to their love life is King of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're coming through as someone who's extremely detached, perhaps not looking for love right now. They're very closed off. I don't really see someone who's going out and looking for love. And some of you, it's because they're in a relationship right now. But I did ask what happened in this person's love life in the past. Why are they so bitter? We have three of pentacles, five of pentacles, ten of swords, knight of wands, five of wands. We have five, five, ten of swords. They were betrayed. Someone cheated on them. Someone backstabbed them. Someone left them out in the cold, but there was a betrayal here in the past. And if I look at the bottom deck energy of your love pack, we have bad attitude, fear of inadequacy. So there may be some challenges when it comes to their self-worth here as well. They don't feel good enough because they were cheated on, but their attitude in regards to love is that bad attitude, they're closed off. They have a hard time trusting others now. If it's not, you know, that they were deceived, it can be something to do with their parents as well. This is someone who is very serious, goal-oriented. A lot of their focus is being put into some sort of goal project they have in mind, um, just their career in general, right? They may be in a position of leadership. Sort of I'm getting someone who puts their head down and, you know, does work, comes home. It's very silent, calm energy, um, maybe doesn't have a lot of friends. They're very friendly. Don't get me wrong, they're someone who's extremely attractive. They're very respected for their intelligence, their hard work. But I don't know, they're very guarded with the Nine of Wands because they've been through a series of experiences that has led them to be very cautious now moving forward. You know what the image I'm getting is almost someone who's sitting by their window sill, looking out the window and wondering what else is out there but holding themselves back, knowing that they have much more potential, right? Once this person does commit to something, they're in it for the long haul. So they can be stuck in some unhappy situations, for example, workplace, a marriage, because they don't want to give up. They're very hard on themselves. I'm getting that as well. They're, they can be someone who has a quirky sense of humor. That, that is something you'll really like about them once they let their guard down. Very odd combination. They can be someone with an unpredictable temper. They may have a water moon. Some of you, semi sex on luminous third house. Yeah, not a lot of people know this person. They come through as very mysterious. Some of them may be someone who's uh, quite intuitive. They have psychic abilities. They offer service. They give clarity to others. They can be a counselor with the King of Swords or just offering wise advice. They can be a financial advisor. Those are some examples. But they may have a job where they're required to wear, you know, be in formal attire. They're required to be serious. Saturn. 
Yeah, that's what I'm getting for their personality. We'll talk more about this as we go through our oracle cards. How you'll meet, we have square, seventh house, three of cups, strength. Strength is fifth house, Leo, it's dating, three of cups. Definitely can be when you're seeking love. Um, it may take a while or there may be challenges here is what is coming through. There's some obstacles in the way of you meeting them. But we do have summer, new friend, 46 influential mentor business colleague so this person may be say you meet through work they may be your boss for some of you we have summer so summer may be significant we do have a leo this definitely can be a gathering a barbecue in the summertime and we have long journey 21 travel to a distant place so these are the scenarios that are coming through travel you moving but some sort of barbecue yeah, this will be a strong intellectual bond. Great conversation was wanting to flip through. Ooh. You will be moody in one year. Again, summer. Some of you, this isn't far from now. How will Libra meet their next serious relationship partner? November. Mutual friends. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that. Some of you while working out, you're on a hike, a jog, outdoors. Restaurant bar setting. They're going out for drinks. Why are you moody? You're moody when you meet this person. They seem to be the one who's moody though. They're a bit erratic. You will have children with this person. Yeah, I was seeing a baby. Definitely was in your outcome. Can be a girl. So if you don't want pregnancy, be careful. People you know already. Yeah, some of you may know this person, but I was getting you're going out with friends or family. People you already know. Anything else? Physical touches, this person's love language, words of affirmation. Look at that. Someone is not over their ex. They have some healing to do. It's this person. For a lot of you but it is a general reading which is why they're not paying attention they were cheated on bad attitude yeah that moodiness seems to be their energy they're very handsome we have two 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 they're very attractive and they're saying that it's just your type so you won't miss this person they're exactly your type i apologize for any sounds you hear that's far away but this mic is picking up on everything it's very sensitive their first impression of you, we have Venus Tower, King of Wands. This is love, lust at first sight for this person. You're coming into their life out of nowhere. It's very unexpected, but this person will not trust you. They're saying, wow, Libra is very attractive. Um, they're good looking. They're someone who's extremely graceful. They'll be very drawn to your face. They love your face and just your physical appearance, the way you carry yourself. And they're saying you're likely to have other options. You're, you're a player. That is how they're viewing you. They love the way you dress, your makeup, for some of you. Yeah, this seems to be some sort of gathering or you're traveling with friends. Which is why square is coming through because initially there may be distance. Yeah, they'll find you to be very sexy, Libra. It's what I'm, I'm getting, but they'll not trust you. They're saying this is unstable. Libra is likely to leave me out in the cold like my past person did or whatever happened between the both, right? Whoever they were dealing with. Their first impression of you. No, your first impression of them. Sixth house, page of swords, knight of swords. Very few of you, sixth house can be work, the gym. So it definitely can be through a physical activity, I was saying. But yeah, gym, co-workers. Maybe you're going out for drinks with co-workers. I wasn't getting that vibe strongly, but we did have that business colleague, right? So yeah, it can be. Yeah, this person will be spying on you. They, We have King of Swords, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords in their energy, Libra. So they may also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong in their chart. 
but how they're approaching you is communication, a lot of back and forth communication. This person will be picking at your brain, really wanting to get to know you. They're normally very reserved with the Knight of Pentacles, but with you, there there's a strong urge to come towards you, communicate, really get to know you, study you. It's almost, yeah, spying on you is what I'm getting. But they'll be very um, slow and steady with the sixth house, that's Virgo energy. So <laughs> there's, this person's a bit contradicting within themselves. We had Saturn and Uranus representing them and we have Virgo and Knight of Swords, right? One part of them is saying slow, slow down. And the other part is saying just go for it, take that leap, right? So they'll have to find that balance within themselves. So it's a constant push and pull within them. But a lot of conversation and they're like you as a friend, communicating, text messages, that sort of thing. What kind of relationship you'll have? We have first house Mercury. The Fool, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, you both, you both will be communicating constantly. I'm seeing a great sense of humor. You'll bring out the more playful side because this person's ice cold with the king of swords but they'll take that leap when it comes to you you fulfill them you represent wish fulfillment and there's strong potential for a happy home here nine of cups the ten of pentacles stability it's almost getting what you wish for mercury in first house can also be a placement or two chatterboxes really liking to um, you may love traveling trying uh, new cuisine uh, experiencing different cultures here you know planning vacations i'm definitely seeing that i'm seeing a lot of movement here you also will discuss everything with each other there's nothing hidden um, when it comes to the both of you um you may both may even like gossiping <laughs> together or just talking about other people i definitely see that friends first here i don't see anything you'll really enjoy each other's sense of humor some of you may even meet through school because Mercury First House can definitely be someone learning a student, right? Yeah, but you'll be very expressive and even if there is distance, there will be a daily. You'll be in touch through social media, uh, via phone, you know? Your communication will be very consistent and the strongest point of your relationship will be the communication. I don't see much challenges here. I see a beautiful new sl fresh slate for the both of you, right? We have first house fool. You both will love to work together, work out together, I'm getting. Because we have a workout for who they are as well. So yeah, they'll want to go on hikes. Maybe take your dog on a, a walk to the beach. Take your children out for a stroll. Or just plan little vacations with your family. That is what I'm getting. The potential outcome, we have Aquarius, 5th house, North node, 7 of cups, Ace of cups, 5 of swords, 4 of wands, Hierophant. There will be challenges here for one around the time you meet you both. One or both of you will have a lot of options. Maybe you, because this person seems to be very closed off when it comes to their emotions. I'm not sure about the more passionate energy. Maybe they are open for flings or something, but I don't see them open to giving their heart away i don't see them being vulnerable right they will be with you though but yeah someone will have a lot of options and out of the seven cups this one cup is standing out right she's picking ace of cups and we had the fool so this will be a new emotional beginning here for the both of you but you'll have a decision to make libra whether you want this person or not there's a lot, there is challenges here. So I see a little bit of arguments not seeing eye to eye. Can be someone's fear of commitment here. But slowly but surely you will build something solid here. Four of Wands, Hierophant. That's marriage. That is celebration. Talks about tradition, family, children, all that. If that is what you want. But there may be initially some hurdles here. Can be someone's fear of commitment can be differing viewpoints here, right? There may be clashes there. Some of you, I'm also getting, there may be interference from others. And I need to show you, I was drawn to this bottom deck energy as well, because we have marriage, memories, what a mess. 
The situation has gotten me messy, too many outside influences, but love will rise again and become stronger. So yeah, I see you both committing. There will be a lot of memories. Perhaps this person likes taking pictures or you do, right? But I'm seeing a lot of vacation time and you being very close to one another, right? But after, yeah, whatever the situation is, there is a happy, t happier times ahead. So there will be challenges. It is a minor arcana, right? Hierophant is major arcana, so it triumphs over the five of swords. There's nothing that you both can't work uh, through here. This person's very reasonable for the most part. They are the king of swords, so there's no nothing that a good conversation can't heal here. Is what I'm getting. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully, I'm not running. Let's get their uh, Chinese zodiac sign. So their Chinese zodiac is the snake. I'm not surprised. They're very powerful with that Saturn energy. So we have wise, amusing, opportunist, adaptable, and artistic. The snake is a pop popular and powerful animal. They want only the best. Snakes' speculative judgment is weak but intuitive wisdom strong. Yeah, we had high priestess, they're very intuitive. In other words, snakes are poor gamblers, but good providers. Naturally secretive and somewhat jealous, infidelity is possible, but actually rare. So some of you, they could have been the one that stepped out and someone left them out in the cold and they learned their lesson, but I'm not sure. I don't get a cheater vibe from them, really. They were more so viewing you as a player, but that's their first impression, right? Doesn't necessarily have to be accurate. But yeah, this person's very powerful. Some celebrities normally have that snake. Um, usually these people, snake energies, they're very charismatic. They have a large following. It's the aura, right? They're very confident and there's some something very alluring about these people. So they will definitely stand out in a crowd. Snake energies. So we have travel. This person may be traveling right now. We have workout. Yeah, they're, we have eat well, sleep well. Yeah, this person's following some sort of routine here. Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. We have take a vacation from your love life. Travel, go shopping. Have a girl's night out. Leave your worries behind and choose to do what makes you happy. Yeah, they're focused on their independence and what fulfills them. They are their number one priority right now. Maybe even their work, but again, it's highlighting that this person is not quite focused on their love life. Divine masculine, yang, masculine energy. So some of you could be attracting divine masculine. You can be the divine masculine. I'm not sure. We have bitterness, resentment, anger, hurtful words, silence, frozen, no words, stonewall. Yeah, they're a stonewall. Ice cold, king of swords. And they're holding on to some sort of resentment here from their past. Now I see a synchronicity here. We have 14, nature spirit. We have fairies, love of nature, eco-friendliness. So it can be, this person likes moving around. And I was telling you adventure, hiking, that sort of thing. So they may be someone who loves nature, spending time outdoors, maybe even camping. Eco-friendliness here as well. We have 22, they can be someone who's very responsible. We have without a care, disregard, ignorance, turning a blind eye. Yeah, this is this person right now. Very stubborn, arrogant. And just really cold hearted, unfortunately. We have 39, frozen in time, stuck, avoiding change, locked in the past. So we have frozen here and we have frozen. So this person is having a hard time releasing Whatever happened here, this betrayal, they're holding on to a grudge is what I'm getting and they're having a hard time forgiving what happened. So they may be camping or spending a lot of time outdoors. Um, sort of a lone wolf energy to heal. So they're getting very single independent energy for a lot of you. And others of you, they can be in another relationship, which is why they're not looking for love, but they're not happy there. And they're needing to step out of their comfort zone, right? To find their happiness with the sun. That'll be for a few of you. Yeah, we have manipulation and commitment. And we have communication and healing. 
Yeah, some of you, this will be distant, a long distance relationship because we had a lot of, yeah, long journey, travel to a distant place. We have travel and there's a distance between the two. So this may start off as a bit of online, right? That definitely can be. And do you see how she's mending his broken heart? So one of you may help the other heal. Specifically, I'm getting you may help them heal. They may have been manipulated within a commitment. Someone took advantage of their generosity. Something along those lines. It may have been a bitter divorce they went through. But whatever it was, it was difficult and they're sort of stuck in the past. We have receiving. I open myself up and allow to allow myself to receive love in all ways from all directions. It may seem scary, but it's better than receiving audits, bed bugs, or hate mail. Yeah, you're teaching this person to receive love. Be more receptive. You'll be very generous and giving. Maybe they're not used to that equal give and take. I was seeing justice quite a bit when I was shuffling for your cards. Let's get physical features. Who is Libra's next serious relationship partner? They can be Hispanic or Latino, pregnant. Yeah, you'll have a baby with this person. For those of you that are wanting to get pregnant, Ace of Cups can be pregnancy. Someone may have a child from a previous connection. We have baby. Look at that. I'm being drawn to pregnant and baby, but we have baby face. So they may have a baby face. We have average height. Who is Libras? They may be Australian or you may be. We have freckles. We have albino, white gray hair. So they may be older. I was picking up on that with Saturn coming through. Definitely. Practitioner. And we have tattoos. And some of you, medium skin tone and medium hair. So they may have darker skin, but we also have Australian. So can have a lighter skin as well. It doesn't really matter. Who is Libra's next serious relationship partner? This person's very beautiful. We have spiritual. Their face or just the way they look. Definitely getting that. You both will find each other attractive. You're exactly one another's type, which is always a bonus, right? T. Fashionable, spiritual, and fashionable. Who is Libra's next serious relationship partner? We have a loyal. We love that. And guess what? Synchronicity. Bottom deck, loyalty. I'm there for the people I care about in whatever way they need me. So that makes sense. If they were betrayed, this person's extremely loyal. So that may have been very difficult for them. We have a V. Ooh, look, TV. We have hair. Something about their hair you may like. Let's get a few more. We have a P and L. LPTV. And they're very witty. Yeah, strong air energy. Intellectual. They can be affectionate, but they hide that side. You won't that won't be apparent from the get-go. You'll sort of have to have to um bring that out of them. Disciplined, I'm not surprised with that workout gym eating right. They're a night owl. They're adaptable. Interesting. I wouldn't I wasn't seeing that in their energy. But with the Uranus, it can be. Aloof. Yeah, see that for sure. Argumentative, I can see that as well. They have strong opinions and they're not afraid of sharing. They're very articulate. Again, that air energy, king of swords. They can be messy, it was saying. Maybe they're not 
I don't know what that's more, more so in regards to their emotions. They can be a bit unpredictable. We have forgiving. That is something you will be teaching them. They are, they're holding on to resentment. They're not a forgiving person, but maybe with you they will be more tolerant. We have careful, knight of pentacles, and some of you different culture race. But yes, that is what I have for you, Libra. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.